Okay, I think that we uh, can get started. Um, so uh, as a reminder, uh, this is a CNCF meeting. So we uh, want to adhere to the CNCF code of conduct, which means basically to be respectful and kind to each other. Um, so moving to the glossary updates, uh, let me share my screen. So um, oh, things are moving weirdly right now. Okay. Um, KubeCon. So uh, KubeCon is coming up um, very fast, uh, just three weeks, I think. Um, so there is a lightning talk, um, which I will be holding. And I'm kind of excited to see MCF is trying to promote a little bit because uh, we're saying, I mean, it's basically the lightning talk is a pitch about the glossary, why you should use it, why it's important, right? And um, um, so hopefully this will uh, help raise awareness. Normally, I think in the last one, there were like about a thousand people were in the room. They're not coming specifically to hear your lightning talk. They're coming to hear the lightning talk. So it's a great way to discover things, right? So hopefully that will work. Uh, I also uh, added a link to the deck here um because um yeah like in case you want to do this in your kcds or anything i think it's like i mean it's just i think lightning talks are really great because it's just like a five minute pitch um you know there is not a lot to say it's just like it's here <laughs> um so that is one thing it's there uh feel free to repurpose it it, it is in that uh, glossary uh folder uh which is linked in our channel as well. Uh, and I was also trying um, to reach out, or I want to reach out to KCD organize in different regions and just ask them, hey, are you interested in having someone? We're not going to travel to, there is no one from our team. We're not going to travel to a different country to do a quick uh, talk, but maybe they're interested if they're excited about the topic. And it's really easy because it's not very technical um, or not technical at all. So trying to see if, if we get people in different in these local um, communities to spread the word as well. Um, on the glossary marketing side, um, I had an idea, and I hope I kind of like it. Sounds like we may be able to do that, uh, and it's adding like I'm calling it an ad, but it's like a little banner uh, about the glossary in CNCF material. For instance, uh, the CNCF annual report is coming out. It's really handy because people are reading this report. Maybe people are not really familiar with all terms. So it's really relevant. People who are reading the report may uh, want to have like a glossary handy, right? So it's like, um, so that could be another channel to raise awareness as well. Um, and um, the CNCF said that they wanted to include it in material for analysts whenever they kind of have like, I don't know, they sent them stuff occasionally. I don't know exactly um, what it is and so on. Uh, so they wanted to include that. I was also thinking to um, create a little pitch with uh, uh, key points to make it really easy. Um, yeah, that's everything that's going on on marketing um, so far. Um, on the tags, it's moving slowly, mainly because of me. I'm kind of a blocker because I need to create like a new uh, mock-up. Um, but basically, I've seen that we've been... So, yeah. The tags are, we're not using the tags the way we should use them right now. Uh, or, but the idea is to be really minimalistic, have like just one, like like the most important tag and so on. Cause like, if you add a bunch of them, it, it gets like, I don't know. It, it loses its value, but we have to, to implement that and then create create some guidance. So uh, we have lots of tags, right? It's like, oh, it applies to several things somehow, right? But it's all kind of cloud native related. Um, so yeah, hoping to be able to do that mock-up uh, next week. Um, and oh yeah, and uh, also lightning talk um, on the same topic uh, today at Cube Crash at another conference that we're putting together with some uh, open source companies. So yeah, really trying to do use it wherever we can. So feel free to do the same um, if in your local and respective communities. Um, 
I think this was Seoko who added that, like two new terms, I guess. Um, yeah, which is great. Um, I'm happy with both of them. Um, and then I think, Jihoon, were you going to talk about the some Urdu process uh, progress or is it just like we have a new team, I guess? And I don't want to distract you from driving. And if you're talking, you're on mute. Okay, let's let let's let let's <laughs> leave you on driving. Um, okay, we have our new localization team. Let's see. I guess uh, my new can check it. Yeah. Oh, it's uh, done. Uh, so that's exciting. So we have French and Urdu. I think uh, that. Uh, are working on going live. Um, people have added their uh, updates here. Um, so Bengali 12 terms. I don't know what that means. Oh, R. Okay, just R. So we have two, they have new two contributors. Uh, great. Um, so that seems to be moving forward. Um, Noah? Sure. Um, so we have nine terms ready by now, which is uh, pretty cool. Uh, and two PRs are open and also Baris um, joined as a pretty active member, which is also very great because it's hard to find um, members who remain active. Yeah, it's always good news. Um... So uh, update from team Hindi, eight new terms, uh, waiting for two more um, to open a PR and merge, 11 open PRs. Uh, I know, my weekly status updates on the channel. I don't know. Um, and Italian, I know Annalisa wrote this, uh, but couldn't join. So 16 open PRs, uh, 15 terms, uh, 13 published already and 28 in uh, ready in depth. That, that's pretty cool. Oh, and they did like this little video that they were talking about, which is uh, um, very useful. Um, only in Italian, but maybe we can translate that at some point. Uh, and then for the Korean team, uh, the glossary is live, which is really exciting. Um, if you haven't checked it out, uh, check it out. Uh, I learned a lot about Korean language. So uh, pretty cool. And then we have Portuguese, Edson. Yeah, so uh, we have nine new definitions uh, that are in live. I spent some time to rebase the, the branch because it was a lot of conflicts to fix, but right now everything is working. And we have the tags. Uh, we, we have only one PR in review. Um, the last weeks I was working in a guide for the maintainers, the localization maintainers. So just with some process, with some responsibilities, responsibilities that we need to uh, to take as a localization maintainer. I was working on that because most of the the job was done by me. So I'm trying to uh, separate the tasks between the the reviews and approvers. So uh, I create a draft and right now I'm validating with the team. And we start we started to do, I think last month, a bi-weekly meeting with the team like a off hour just to answer a question to help everyone that are trying to that that have interest to work on this project. And yesterday I sent the blog post from Catherine. Finally, uh, we finished that and I think that is it from the Portuguese team. Awesome. Uh, and that guide, I assume it's uh, in Portuguese, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but I think this could be something yeah. to share with, and something that other teams could benefit as well. I mean, like, I know, figure it out, like, uh, write it, you know, make sure it, it, it works. And at some point, maybe. Um, Kind of share it uh, with, yeah. with with the sure, group. Sure. Uh, I I can do a short summary, and I will send a message on the glossary channel 
uh, just with the sections and sure, I can share it. Yeah. I mean, always good to uh, share best practices that different teams have identified. Um, and then um, the Spanish team was not able, they said they were not able to um, attend. Uh, Victor, of course, is in California, so it's far too early, but he added some terms here. 13 uh, terms added in the dev branch, two PRs open, six issues in progress, ready to merge into main to go live. And they did present at a workshop and there is a link to it. Um, so that's really cool because, uh, yeah, again, we really want to raise awareness um, as well uh, among um, different language communities to, to, to recruit more um, helpers. And there is a new approver, Nicolas. Um, that's it. And then topics, Noah, you had a topic about ads. What are the, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, so I recognized as I uh, was localizing one, um, one term that I, um, I couldn't remember which tags are uh, available. So, I think we need to to list them somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, we need uh, yeah, to get yeah. tags. That's why we're saying like ignore the tags for now a little bit because it's like some of them are. Uh, but yeah, yeah, we can maybe post them in yeah. in the channel. We have to because we have to implement the changes so the tags work the way we want them to work, and then we have to update the contributor. Right. So actually, I, I don't like when we. That we did push it before we had it figured out um, because it took a while figuring it out. So it was probably not ideal. Um, yeah, this is something that we should probably do as uh, um, uh, postponed to the tags implementation of the website. So mm -hmm. after the implementation is done, we should list the tags somewhere. Yeah, and we have to go through all of them and make sure that the tags are because some yeah. people have a Python tags and it's like, yeah. So yeah, and the other thing, and a yeah. lot of things were it's not yeah, but it's not the way it's supposed to work. Um, what were you saying? Sorry. Yeah, and the other thing is that um, I recognize that we didn't add the links of the recordings to any of the um, meeting notes. Which recording? The recording of this? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it says watch the recording here, but there's no thing. Oh, I think I don't yeah. know. I don't know where 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 we can where we can grab them from. Uh, it is. Uh, it, yeah, I think last time we had to re uh, remind uh, Libby. Uh, she does it at some point, uh, and then it's on the CNCF channel. But you have to look at it because there's so much going out that you have to kind of mm. like, so we have to look out whenever that is live. But I, I can send her a note and ask, can you let us know when it's live? And then we can do that. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Anything else? OK. It was a short meeting, but that's fine feel like it's a little kind of like there was a lagging uh, summer hole, at least for me, I've been really distracted with other things, but hopefully. KubeCon mm. um, is always yeah. distracting. <laughs> but yeah, well, then um, let's leave it here. Uh, thanks for joining everyone. Um, Thank you. We're in touch in the glossary channel if there are any questions and otherwise we'll see you next month. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye.